Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new Game Maker tutorial. Today we're talking about how to put some simple snow into your game. I thought I'd make this to celebrate the holiday season we are currently in. Uh, this could also work for rain. I'm going to show you specifically with snow, uh, but do know that all the code you use in here could be used for any kind of weather like that. Uh, snow, rain, hail, I guess, if you want to. Anyways, let's jump right in here. I've got an empty file here, uh, so I'm going to create a brand new sprite. I'm going to call this SBR underscore snowflake, and I'm going to create a really, really, really basic snowflake. I'm going to make it 8 by 8. Let's pop in here, and I'm going to make it white. Yeah, because that's the color of snow. Uh, perfect. Let's center it for absolutely no reason. And that's all I need. I've just got my snowflake. Actually, you know what? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna make it round. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Let's make it 12 by 12, and we're gonna make it round. Perfect. I like it. That's a much nicer snowflake. Um, awesome. So let's create a new object. I'm gonna call this one OBJ underscore snowflake, and let's set the sprite to snowflake. And we're gonna come back to this in a little bit. Uh, but first off, let's create obj underscore snow uh, control. So this is going to control the snow falling. So I'm going to add an event. I'm going to add a create event. I'm going to go to control, drag in some code. And all I'm going to say, actually, sorry, not the create event. Let's go into the step event. If I hit change, by the way, if you've created an event and done a lot of code, don't delete it. You can actually go down here and hit change. And it'll allow you to uh, change what event it's in. So I'm going to just create, turn that into a step event. And I'm going to do three slashes and say um, snowfall. And if I do three slashes, that will change the title of my code here uh, to snowfall, uh, which is quite nice. It's a nice little organizational thing. And how, do we, how are we going to make the snowfall? It's actually quite easy. We're going to say instance underscore create random room underscore width zero obj underscore snowflake. So what's going on here? Well, the instance underscore create function will basically create a new instance of whatever object we tell it to. So we're telling it to create a new instance of a snowflake. So create a new snowflake. The zero is telling us to spawn it at the top of the room. And this random room width, what that's going to do is that's going to pick a random spot along the top of the uh, ceiling of our room to create snowflake. Because we don't want all the snow falling from one place. We want it to be random. We want them to be able to fall from anywhere. So that's what this thing is doing, which is brilliant. That's exactly what we're looking for. One last thing though, on the top here, we have to add randomize. So if you ever use random anything, anything random in your code, make sure you have randomized because what that's going to do is that's going to make sure that it is completely random every single time it runs. So in this case, if we didn't have randomize, it would pick a random spot, like a random coordinate once and then keep that. But randomize, that means every single snowflake is going to be coming from a different location. Hope that made sense. If it didn't, uh, there's some great articles out there. But basically the whole idea is we're creating a new snowflake at a random point along our room. So I'm going to hit check. I'm going to hit check. I'm going to go back into OBJ snowflake. I'm going to hit add event. And in the create event, I'm going to add two things. First thing, I'm going to say V speed is equal to nine. And I'm going to say H speed is equal to three. So what, the, so what the V speed does is the V speed tells the snowflakes to move downwards. We want it to move down towards the ground because, well, of course, that's what snow does. And what this, what the H speed equals three, what that does is that makes the snow move uh, to the right a bit. That gets it to move at kind of a slant, uh, assuming that it's a windy day. If you want your snow to just fall straight down, then take that out. Uh, but if you want it to kind of add that bit of dynamics to it, so it's moving off to the right. Uh, we can add this H speed is equal to three. So you'll see what I mean in a second here. Let's create a new room. I'm going to go to settings, call this RM underscore main. I'm going to make the width 640 
and the height, whoops, I got caps lock on, height 480. And I'm going to go to background, so let's add a nice little night sky background maybe. That's not a night sky background at all. Something like, hmm. I got Star Wars in my head, sorry. <laughs> um, there you go. Yeah, sure, night sky background, because why not? Now, if you take the OBJ control and you place it in the room, that's all you have to do. So let's, before you, let's hit play, let's make sure all our code runs. Now I'm gonna go back really quick and re-explain the code to just make sure you know what's going on. Just taking a drink if you hear any shuffling around. Oh, that's good water. So as you can see here, uh, the snow is falling. The snow is coming down, it's coming down at this slant. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make my snowflake a little smaller. I did make it too big. I'm gonna make it eight by eight, back to the way it was before. And if we go into OBJ snowflake, or snow control, sorry. I'm just gonna talk about this one last time. We're creating a new snowflake at a random point along the ceiling of our room and that snowflake, thanks to this code here, is going to fall downwards and off to the right of it. So I'm gonna actually change that to two because I think I like that side, that speed better. And then we can take a look and see how it looks. Do do do, I say looks way too much. Okay, so there you go, snowflakes are a little smaller and here they fall like that, it looks Quite nice it's quite a simple effect and really does the job uh, for what it's doing uh, so once again you can make this rain you can make this hail which is basically snow it looks the same hail would probably fall faster though because it's not light like snow is it's a lot heavier and dense but anyways that is our simple snow effect I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you learned something uh, if you did let me know and if you did learn anything and you hated this video I don't care don't let me know don't tell me but uh, uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure talking to you guys. I hope you have a happy and safe holidays. Happy Deming.